This video shows the Laurent series for e to the 1 over z. It shows how to compute it and what it looks like. It relies on the Taylor series for e to the z. And I should point out that the function e to the minus 1 over z shows up in one of the other videos on this channel, a smooth function which is not analytic. So something in particular happens at z equals 0. It's called an essential singularity. So recall the Taylor series for e to the z. The Taylor series for e to the z is 1 plus z plus z squared over 2 plus z cubed over 6 plus many other terms. And the typical nth term has z to the n over n factorial. So that's the Taylor series for e to the z. In order to get the Laurent series for e to the 1 over z, well, you simply just put in the 1 over z. So e to the 1 over z is simply 1 plus 1 over z plus z squared, oops, 1 over 2 z squared plus 1 over 6 z cubed, and so on. And if you were to write this guy out as a, a nice little sigma notation, we'd have something like this. You could write it out in the form that we've written already, like this, making it very much like the Taylor series. Or we could write it out in a way that emphasizes the Laurent series nature of this. We could write it out with an absolute value of n factorial and with a z to the n in the numerator But now all of our exponents, except for the first one, they're non-positive. So the last exponent is 0, and we go from minus infinity to 0. So this is evidently a Laurent series. So that gives you the Laurent series, and it indicates that this is entirely possible to have something that's structured uh, like a Laurent series, which is to say all those exponents being in the denominator, negative exponents, and it converges perfectly fine. So this function is analytic for z not 0. Of course, when z is equal to 0, we don't just get one divide by zero, we get an infinite number of divide by zeros. Infinitely many terms diverge. So that's a bad news. In fact, this particular situation has a name. This is called an essential singularity. And if just one of them diverges, so if we were to cap it off and say there's only so many negative exponentials and then none, no further, that's called a pole. So in contrast, say 1 over z plus say 1 over z squared plus up to 1 over z to the n but nothing else over here is called a pole of order n. There's another video that talks a bit more about this particular property. But the point is that you can get something that converges even with these neg negative exponents. It's worth noting that that means
golf and going to minus infinity and and going to plus infinity terms positive and negative powers of z floating around in your Laurent series in particular e to the z plus e to the 1 over z is equal to n equals minus infinity like this this kind of series um, although actually there's one extra no harm there um, so this particular guy has got both positive and negative powers floating around perfectly analytic away from zero Uh, but has both positive and negative exponents floating around. So that certainly can happen. Uh, and that, that's a function that's got that particular Laurent series.